Cathedral Stone Training Seminar, Greenwood Cemetery. So we're going to install some water on the patch area. Then we're going to grab some material and wet it up in our hand. This is the peanut butter coat step. Give it a little more. And now spread that around with your trowel like butter. It'll almost become paint. Yeah. Where it's like hard to remove it. really wet plastic. Sorry, it looks like it needs to have water. Yep. If it's not spreading, you can even spray that. When you see it get gritty and, and then it'll help cream, spread it. It's, again, your stone uh, is that? Perfect. Yeah. Water yeah. And the cement right. really so we'll apply this thin so uh, eighth inch like layer and then we'll apply a drier mix right on top of that, creating a perfect bond. Okay. Spray that something where you have. So I'm going to go right. Your yep, you're going to work into your right closest side. Hand. If you're right-handed, you're going to pull it right into the right. And this push is it. Yep, you push it, and you see how it kind of keys in? Yeah. Jam it into the side. Push it, and you work on it. And again, this happens all the time. All right. And then you keep all of this. Like this. Yep, anything that, that's left when over, you just use it and put it right back in. All right, grab a little more. And the goal is to just overbuild the profile. Because Square. the finished Rectum. product comes later. Yeah, you have to let the material sit for a little bit. What happens on our brown stone? Perfect. So All right, so overbuild it? Okay. Yep, overbuild. If you can get an eighth inch overbuild this around that whole pa uh, patch yeah. area, yep. that's going to make for a good finish. You want to try to avoid having low spots. The rain. Because if you do have a low spot, it's going to be a texture difference. And you got to push it, right? Like yeah, you're compacting it, it like a sandcastle yeah. in a form. Right. There you go. You see how it starts to really hold itself? Yeah. yeah. That means you've filled all the air gaps in the back. Condense it. What happens when you pack in a sandcastle and you put it in loose? You flip it over, the thing fumbles. But if you pack tight, everything is good. So like, all right, so check this out. It's going to be like more like... Yeah. One or two swipes, and that's it. Don't keep oh, pressing. Okay. Pack this stuff in your hand. And, uh, Don't take it. Got our like product this. in here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Spray yeah. bottle. Materials. Whether you take tool. pieces from that. Rubber sponge. And just very lightly put it on. Yeah. It's half full, and I kind of. We are now doing a pre-squeeze where we're taking the material down slightly. We're not doing a full screed, meaning we're not going to screed it to the profile of the stone yet. That process still needs time, but we are saving material and allowing the patch to dry faster by doing a pre-screed on this one. Should I hit this right here? Yeah, so on the front face, you're going to want to start at the top and work it down. Okay. Push it down to make sure Yes, perfect. You're sort of working your tool away from your edges, never towards them. If you work it towards, you're going to break off the edge. Just take off extra. And that's it. So now you have your eighth inch at the bottom, somewhat of an eighth inch in the middle. You can continue scraping. I hold this. You can also, why not, take a little off the top as well by screeding it back. This way? Yep. Um, this got a little wiggly perfect. just because... And then As we'll, we'll check applying, back in with you in a few when right. we're ready for our final we'll screen. Alright, so Press first down. thing we're going to do, we'll spray this, oh, right? Instead of layering yeah. in place, then we're going to spray yeah. the, build in chunks. But from the my, from my view right now, like, right. I don't think we need more, Do we right? mix this or just, on there or just, just we're, we're going to we're gonna gonna press that and mix it up a little bit with your trout. Just going to chop it up. And what's that called there that you got? This is the peanut butter coat. Mm -hmm. Spread that around. Once you have this, then oh, here it goes. you do your pre -screen. Yeah, you give it a little on spritz heavy. of water. Yeah, I think it's like you don't waste time making corners, and then you quickly gut out the extra. It doesn't take long to cut that out. Right. It takes longer to build that slice. There you go. There and it goes. You, you know, something like that happens, you just quickly. It's it's not so easy to get it into a square back there, right? No, it's like you got to find right. those angles. So at this point, it's really like there it goes. it back, right? Not a little extra water. We just, um, we want to make sure I get here in the corner. Not half, there's just what you're expecting. And I think there you go. Just there it goes. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the side. Better right? to yep. get the side. The square, the square side of the tool helps with this. Oh, look at that. This that was a good one. To be fair, I won't peanut butter cutter, okay? Once these guys are gone. Look at it, it's like spackle work. You've got the top. Yeah, very important to get the undercuts. The back, you want to get all the sides. Yep, there it goes. See, now it's working. We're not just relying on a bond here, we want bond on all sides of the stone. So that's, that's where this peanut butter coat is so vital. And it's filled. Yep. It's relatively packed. Okay. Okay. I think we got it.
I would call it. You might be able to on this one actually see a color change. And this is also something that is responsible for color issues, is texture. You take a tool that's clean. And again, I don't recommend steel because you may see some of this carbon come off this, the tool. And depending on, and hopefully you can see it in the camera. It's harder for me to see it here. But you're actually pressing down those little grains of sand. Now the gray coming out is from the tool, which is why you use like a wood or something that's not gonna mark. You can almost see a color change, right? Yeah, it's lighter. Believe me, you know how many landmark problems are occurring because of lighter. textures? Yeah, it is lighter yeah. on the left and the right. There's Same a little, why? Kind of, like right there, the there's a little The more shadow line. that's in the pockets, the more black your eye picks up and it changes your color. Oh. It actually does change color, just not in a way we recognize. Mm -hmm. Sound to show. Uh, we want you to see the bond in just a short amount of time, even though the material's not set up yet. Sometimes like, if I... I'm going, I'm going right in. Yeah. yeah, you're ripping it out. We like to show you guys because, you know, we get a lot of questions about ASTM test bond strength and, and X, Y, and Z. I'm putting a lot of pressure. In fact, I, I can't even. Look. I'm putting full pressure and it's not, it's not coming out. But these, like if you patch on this, they would just be like, yeah, this is I mean, you'd, you'd have to really. I need like a hammer or something. Yeah, you, oh, there, there we go. go. Right. Once, Once you get you behind get in, it, though, it kind of comes out. You gotta try to get that peanut butter level <clears throat> and level out the tool a little bit. But that out. was that was very difficult to to get out. Extremely That's difficult. That's why we don't need pins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It ain't coming off if it's done right. You'd have to really get behind it and put a lot of pressure to get in there. There you go, you got a lot out there. Yeah. That's the bond that occurs. That's yeah. all the tiny sand particles getting driven into that nicely fresh this, crack. This is very, like this feels very strong right here, where I didn't pull it out. And this is, so, yeah. I guarantee the top one's gonna be a little harder to get out because that's been. Oh, we have to take this out too. Yeah, yeah. That one's been in there for slightly right. longer, right? Well, let's give it a shot. Hire a lawyer and make these Yeah, it's really insane, right? It's really in there. Look, it's not. It's the the bond. The bond there. right here, yeah. And that's why we do peanut butter coat. If you don't do peanut butter coat, it's gonna come out a lot easier. I like it. It's yeah. fun working for him when he's happy. I mean, yeah. yeah, this is really bonded well back here. You'd have to, I'd have to scrape it almost. Yeah. And obviously, um, one thing. If I you wait like you six hours, air, you're gonna need an air hammer to get it out. 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 You're gonna need yeah. a, you know, pneumatic tool to get this thing out. Okay. How long has this been? Only it's only been about two, three hours, yeah, maybe. Not even. Though. Not even. Yeah. Yeah. Started at like nine thirty. Nine forty-five. Wow, this is really—it's really in there. It's not easy. No. And you guys are good at that point. We can take it from there, but I just wanted you to see that.